Welcome back to Same Bright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, we'll be making a princess that will be drafting a princess that with back loops. So I've already made my basic bodies for this drafting. This is the shoulder, chest, bust point, under bust point, and the waistline. I have my 1.5 inch dart and my 2 inches bust dart, which is the difference between here and here, 2 inches. This is the back length, it's shorter by 2 inches, so I have my bust dart. So if yours is shorter by 3 inches, it means you have your 3 inches as your bust dart. So the first thing we are going to do for this princess dart, I'm going to divide my shoulders same line. And find the midpoint. This is my midpoint, and I'm going to connect this midpoint to the bust point. So once that is done, I'm going to tighten my under bust. So this is my center front, and in tightening my under bust, I'll place my tape on the center front there. I'm going to take my under bust circumference around my under bust divide by four. I have 8.75 here. I have 1.25 left, and I'll put 0.25. That is a quarter here, and I'll put one inch. So whatever difference you have here, put a quarter inch, and the rest of it from the outer that leg, you place it at that point. So I'm placing my ruler. This way, you can see how I'm placing my ruler from that point to the bust point. And I'll flip my ruler this way as well to the bust point. Then, I'll go ahead and connect to the dart leg like this, as you can see. So I've tightened the under bust for my princess dart. So from the midline of this princess dart, I'm going to come down by 1.5. So, I'm going to connect both this midline and my 1.5 to the bust point. So, you can see how I placed my ruler, making sure it follows the contour line to that line. And I'll flip it this way to that 1.5. Once I stop here, I'll come out by the same 1.5. So, I'll measure... 1.5 and then I'm going to connect my 1.5 from here to meet the arm hole. So by this we have tightened the, uh, the arm hole and we have also tightened the under bust. So now you will be creating the neckline of your choice. So whatever neckline you want to make for this princess that is by choice, you can decide to come in here um, by maybe one, one inch or by a quarter, uh, three quarter of an inch. So this is actually by choice. So I'll do three quarter, three quarter. It depends on what three quarter, one inch. So it depends on what you actually want. You can even make it a V neckline. You can even make it a round neckline. So whatever neckline you want to make here. So I'll just freehand my neckline because my ruler is not actually giving me what I want. So if I'm making a round neckline, this is it for my princess that. So we are done with this princess that front. So the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create a look. For a princess that so you can actually create a loop for the princess that and you can actually make a basque for a princess that so let me just create the let me finish with what i have at the back for the creation of the loop so since we are making a loop right here remember the neckline we have here we came in from here to here at uh, three quarter so I'll come in from here to here at three quarter as well. So now I will determine how long I want my uh, back loop to be. So from here to here is one inch. I can still maintain my high neck because I'm going to have um, 
um, I'm going to have a yoke there so I can just decide to have a high neck so but it has to start from this line so I always like to do this from here I'll be having a button it depends on how many buttons you want to have so from here to here I have half an inch and at this half an inch you'll be having a button at that point so from there I'll now determine how I want my neckline to be how deep I want it or how I open so here I'll be making use of six inches so at that six inches I'll just create something like this to open just make a keyhole for it okay so I'm making a keyhole for it so I'll just drop this this is actually my design so you can see that is my design so for this design remember we are going to have a loop so before we create this design we need to determine the wideness of our corset back if you are making use of a corset back with loops right here you don't need to do this yet till we have gotten the width of our corset back so I'm not contouring the back because we are going to have a loop right here. So there wouldn't be any need to contour any back, center back. So I'll just go in by, I don't want it to, the loop too open. I'll go in by two inches and come out by one and half. So that is how I want the loop to look like. You can also do one inch or if you want the zipper to stop exactly at that point you can do half an inch okay half an inch right there and two inches right here so if i do half an inch right there it means the opening will just be at one inch just one inch very little at one inch at that back but if you want the zip the zipper to continue at the back of course i want the zipper to continue at the back so i will just do this two inches here from here to here and nothing from here so if i do nothing from here my loop will just go straight and my zipper for the back will start continue so let me take away this and make it easy for you so by the time you have your loop your loops will be sewn uh, right here directly and it terminates at the waist point and your zipper continues. I, I think this is beginners friendly so let us leave it there so that you won't find it difficult to finish up the waistline. So now this is our loop uh, where we want our loop to be. So but next thing I want to do is the back will not start from the chest line. The back will start something like this. I'll be creating something like from the center back. I'll just step down by one and half. So once I step down by one and half, I'll just angle my ruler to create the yoke to this point. And then my back loop will go over there. Can you see that? So that is why I said you don't need to make this line because we hear all of this will be open all of this will be open and we are going to have our lessons this way okay so our lessons will terminate and the zipper starts so now i'll just go ahead and do this so it's all by choice now on the kind of yoke we want to create so i'm, I'm placing my ruler here and i'm going to create my yoke this way so everything here now becomes my yoke i believe you understand that and everything here i will cut it as yoke and this is the body so i'll just go ahead right now and draw my line to the dust to touch right there so what i have here is back one and back two note that there is no boning for this dress this is just a bustier with loop at the back the only part will have boning is going to be on the loop line okay so we have detailed videos on how to make back loops so i'll also link the uh, description 
the video on the description box below so now i want to cut this back my that intake is one and half and my waist divided by four from the center front is nine inches so this is nine inches and this is my nine inches of my waist and this is the one and half inch so make sure you replace your dart because you are going to cut off this dart immediately so i'll cut my back pattern for you to see i'll come here to cut my corset back so all of this part i'm cutting now we don't need them okay my loop back okay that that was what i cut and from this this is the neckline that corresponds with the front neckline and this is the shoulder you'll be having your armhole where you are going to attach your sleeve and then we'll now go this way so i'll separate the back by cutting off my that to this point and i'll cut off my that to this point can you see that so my yoke for the back will be cut at this point so you can see this is what we have for the back pattern so i'll set this aside so normally this is the front pattern and this is a normal princess pattern. but since we want it to have a pass i'll just add my pepper to it and i'm going to create the back waistline okay so this back v waistline i'll just go ahead and gum my pepper so i'll be able to create this uh, v neckline so i'll just make an extension from the waistline of five inches so here i measure five inches so i'm going to measure the five inches this is my five inches extension for my bask and i'll just connect it to the waistline okay so this is the bask now so next is to connect these dots to touch the line and connect this to touch this line can you see that so that is it and that is how to go about the princess that that has a dot so i'll just go ahead and cut now i'm cutting by the was that line and i'm going into the princess that now now cut all the way to the dart and I'll take it down to the basket okay and I'm going to cut out the dart for the princess that then close up my bust that okay I'll close up my boss that and that is that so once I'm sewing this now I'll just start here at this point to is a princess that front with its bask as you can see so you are going to sew from here the normal way we sew a princess that we are going to sew from here to the under boss like that and you have your princess that front with bask so this is what I have for the back. So if this is the front pattern, this becomes the back. So the back pattern with loop, you can see is actually matching up. And you have this to the loop and the neckline. So your laces will come in right here. So you cut two times of this, two times of this, two times for left and right two times and the center front will be on fold so you might decide to 
you know, attach your boning if you want to attach. But this is just a bust here. The boning will only go on the loop, okay? And that is okay. And here we have our lacings. So I have a detailed video on how to make um, uh, different kinds of lacings. Uh, back lessons, okay, either with eyelets or with loops. I'll be dropping the link on the description box below. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial. And if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming. See you in the next class. Bye.